Yesterday was uh, the big Super Bowl commercial showcase, surrounded by a few minutes of football here and there, of course, right? Let's be honest. American companies bring out their biggest and best to set the bar in the commercials. Okay, so that was the best for this year, of course. So our Craig Worth has saved all of the commercials that many of us grew up with in the years past. So let's see how many you could remember from your television set days. And you know, once I was so lucky in the world of commercials, I even got to have dinner with Mr. Whipple. Hey, oh. don't squeeze the charm and got to know him real well. Anyway, let's roll the film. You've got bad breath. Wow, I could have had a V8. I can't believe I ate that all thing. He's right there. Okay. They became part of our culture. 35 years ago, Wendy's gave the world, where's the beef? It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Elka Seltzer invented phrases that used to be quoted about as much as Shakespeare. This one in 1969. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Followed up by the classic of 1972. Try it, you'll like it. Generations can be measured by what Coca-Cola advertisement was popular in one's younger years. I like to teach the world to sing. Sing with me. Are not a child of the 80s if you, if you do not know who Mikey it? was. I'm not gonna try it. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He won't need it. He hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. Yes, old commercials. But then there's the old commercial icons of the past. Years ago, I got the ultimate baby boomer treat an invitation to a night of our commercial heroes. Yes, even Mr. Whipple. Squeeze the tomatoes, squeeze the melons, but please don't squeeze the new Charmin bathroom tissue. 68 years ago, I said to my mother, I'm going to be an actor. She said, you'll wind up in the toilet. And my hero, the FedEx fast talker of 1981. translated, telegraph, but reciprocated, reiterated, and expurgated. Then I think with all due haste, my system should tabulate a word process and index it by, like cross-reference and computerize it to make sure that every man, woman, and child in the United States gets a copy. Does everybody ask you to talk quickly, to talk fast? A lot of people do. They'll come up and they'll say, like, a lot of times, you know, someone will come up, it's like the old gunslinger, like, I can talk faster than you, and then they like, try to start, you know, do a little thing with you and, you know, try to get you going into a little contest. Um, or they'll talk really slowly. We remember them, even after years and years. Okay, I was in awe that night of nights. The legendary Betty White told me why I was starstruck. They become like members of the family. You see somebody come along and you say, oh yes, I know. And you know every word they're gonna say, but you find yourself listening to them. More will remember Mean Joe Green from this moment than from his time on the field. Thanks, Mean Joe. And anyone who doesn't enjoy the old commercials is full of baloney. Cause Oscar Mayer has a way with theology and A. You see, they were just entertaining. Before you open the door, what a shine on the floor. When we finish one then. Tears to our eyes. Down the road, out of, there runs Mary. Hair of gold and lips like cherries. They changed us and they changed America. We shall prevail. Thank you again for your support. You probably don't know the last one. That was Bartles and James. Okay. You'd have to be a little older than perhaps <laughs> you. But which ones do you remember? Um, okay, the little boy, yeah. uh, the fishing one. 
Uh, that's called Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that iconic 1984 Apple commercial. Yeah, that was the I remember little that boy one. with yeah. the fishing yeah. pole. I liked know. Mikey. 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 That was really so cute. Yeah. Oh my no. gosh. So you know they all were singing commercials then. Yes. They were great, and you just got that in your head, and it would just drive you nuts because yes. that's all you could think of the rest of that day was you know something like. Oscar the Mayer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I don't even like bologna. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> and I would sing that stupid song over and over. Craig, this is the thing we're missing it these days. We yeah. need to just go back to the musical commercials. There you go. We'll make our own. <laughs>